soldiers went on Jim Norton. Uh, no, I'm sorry, called in Jim Norton. Reamed Sarah Russi a new asshole because she basically admitted she led me on and laughed about it. So I ripped through a new asshole. So Mason Reese, her boyfriend, wants to have a talk with me. Well, I'm going to call him right now. Get his ass on the phone. I'm going to try to be civil. But I'm going to snap when necessary, if necessary. Hello? Hello, Mr. Reese. It's the... It's the bagel guy. How are you? How are you, Chris? I'm doing good. Listen, uh, I just called in uh, Norton's show. Uh, I want to start yeah. off. I want to start off first by saying, and I started off by saying this on the show that okay. I'm, sh I'm sure I don't, I don't have I don't have serious by the way. So maybe they'll play it on YouTube or something. Oh, okay. Well, in any event, yeah. in any event, um, I started out. By saying how, you know, I, I'm sure you and Sarah are nice people. And you seem like a nice guy. And anything I may have said hurtful towards you was not, you know, nothing with the height thing. Because I'd be a hypocrite. So I wouldn't want to do that to someone else that's short. And I get it. However, right. however, right. I explain. Here's the, here's the whole scenario here, okay? I explain. I got a phone call one night from one of the guys that knows my manager. And right. he knows, he knows uh, Sarah's... Um, uh, publisher. Now this guy. Right, Randy. Yeah. No, somebody else. I'm not going to mention his name. Anyhow, he told me that, and I told. Well, hold, hold on, Chris. Hold on. If you're talking about Sarah's publicist, that's a woman named Lady. No, I know. I'm getting to that though. So the guy. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Right. So the guy that I spoke to told me that the Sarah directly told the publicist Laney that. She likes me. She's into me. And I didn't really know much about Sarah at first. This is before she came on my podcast. And, right, and right. I says, well, I so I no, I actually did some research. I says, well, she has a boyfriend, though, right? And they go, well, did you watch their Chipperson show and what he did behind the back? I says, no, I, let me go look at it all. And that's when I made the move because I was informed that the date that we would go on is obviously probably going to be 50% for ratings, which I, which I'm fine with. And the other 50, right. I thought she was, she really liked me. And, you know, you being a short guy like me, you know, I'm like, all right, uh, you know, I'm like, I kind of feel bad, but if that's how she feels, hey, what guy would not go for her? She's cute. So then when we right. went, when we went on the date and all that shit, she slowly found out and she goes, well, well, what did they, they said that? I said, well, yeah. I says, I wouldn't be here wasting my time or my money on you. So, then when I just called into the Norton show, that you know they they had me on hold for a while, and I heard Sarah talking for a while, and basically Sarah totally led me on and was laughing about it, giggling, and this is the issues right. that I've had with women, and 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 why I become angry the way I have, and I basically flip my shit on her over the air, and then I texted her right. some more shit about new girls that luckily I've met that are better looking than her, but basically I said you know what. And one of the last things I just texted Sarah was, you know what? Everything's real fucking funny when you're spending my goddamn money. I says, you know what? You order a $12 glass of wine, you think that's funny. And I hear I thought I had a shot with her. But the whole time, she's manipulated me and didn't, didn't even think I was good looking. Now that, to me, is bullshit and it's hurtful. So, unfortunately, what happens is, I always try to start out as a nice guy. And... Then girls pull shit like this. Then I snap. Right. Then I snap. That's what happens. Um, I'll tell you one thing recently that happened with other this other girl on uh, OK Cupid, and she wasn't even that good. Okay. She wasn't even that good looking. Now, this girl had no pictures below her tits, and what I'm doing now is I'm making screenshots of all my conversations with these bitches to prove that I was nice to all of them, a bunch of them, and. They end up going on either giving me an attitude, and I'm basically taking these screenshots, and this is a brilliant idea, Reese, because I've never done this before, and I'm sending right. these I'm sending these screenshots to my man who's putting it up on Twitter to prove and clear my my reputation that, you know, I'm not a bad guy, and if I do have anger towards women, there's a fucking reason, and and they even caught Sarah. They go, oh, well, you agreed to go out with Chris again. 
She goes, yeah, well, I don't want to hurt his feelings. Well, the point is, it's on video. So then she laughs that she was fucking leading me on. So my point is, dude, is that maybe you could do someone better then because she's not trustworthy if she's fucking doing that shit. Here she's, here she's admitting on camera she would go out me again behind your back and then she fucking denies it or acts like it was an all a mean game. That's fucked up. So I ended the, I ended this, I ended the show by telling her, I said, Sarah, you're a bitch and go fuck yourself. You think it's funny that you fucking manipulated me? I says, that's bullshit. And I hung the phone up. So right. that's where I'm getting at. So again, um, I don't know what you well, got. I don't know what you got to say about it, but I'm going to enclose with this and then I'll let you speak. Is that basically yeah, for eight to 10 years, I've been dealing with shit like this and I've never ever thought about screenshotting shit. Well, now I'm going to embarrass them all over the world. I'm going to put their picture up and everything to prove that I'm a gentleman and I keep getting fucked with. So now I, I, I'm curious to hear what you have to say. Okay. I, I have very strong feelings about this whole thing. Okay. Now, I, I, I'm going to start off by saying I don't know you. I only know about you what the public knows about you. Right. I, I don't know what kind of life you've led. I don't know, you know, what you're, you know, I, I don't really know anything about you. I watched the Grillo show. Okay. You know, you did the Grillo show. Right. And I, I've known Steve Grillo, by the way, since he was an intern on the Howard Stern show. Yeah, he told me so he's I friends with back you. like 30 years of Grillo. Right. You know, close to it. Yeah, right. he told me the other day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a very close friend, but he actually bartended for me. I've, I've owned bars and restaurants, and, you know, he worked at a couple of my places, you know, bartending for me. So we go way back. Okay. Um, but I, I don't know very much about you. Right. But, you know, let, let, let's call it what it is. I don't like you. I don't like your persona. I don't like the things that have come out of your mouth. But I'm not talking about just about me, Chris. I'm talking about in general. Like, I, I don't, look, I'm even, I'm even a little bit shorter than you are. Okay. Okay. Right. And yeah, when I was a teenager, I went through a lot of pain and suffering because all the girls wanted the jock and they wanted the athlete. They wanted the model. They wanted the motorcycle riding bad boy. Right, right, right. right. I got all that. But then when I went into my teens, I was still kind of riding the wave of being famous, right? Oh, okay. I wasn't really working very much anymore, but I was still kind of riding the wave of, of celebrityhood, okay? Right. And all the velvet ropes of all the hottest nightclubs in the world opened up to me because they wanted me in their club. Of course. Okay? Right, of course. I get that. And, and, I got, and I got laid more than any man deserves to get laid. Really? And I'm talking about... I'm talking about young women, older women, models, strippers, now, everybody. Now, is this, is, this, is this before you, like, got money, or were you just rolling into the fame? No, this is when my career was already over. Oh, okay, okay. I was famous. So, I mean, I was, I, was a, I was a big celebrity at this point. No, I know. Now, let, right. me explain, now let me explain something to you. I knew, I knew that 99% of the women were not with me because of my look. Right, right. They were with me because they thought if you saw the bang of fucking guy, it was famous. Okay? Right, right. But I have a point here. I'm 54 years old now. And in the last four and a half to five years of my life, I have had wonderful women because they wanted me in their club. Of course, okay? right, of course, I get that. And and I got and I got laid more than any man deserves to get laid. Really? And I'm talking about I'm talking about young women, older women, models, strippers, now, everybody. Now is this I is everything. it is this before you like got money or were you were just rolling into the fame? No, this is when my career was already over. Oh, okay, okay. I was famous. So I, mean, I was I was a, I was a big celebrity at this point. No, I know. Now, let right. me explain. Now let me explain something to you. I knew, I knew that ninety nine percent of the women were not with me because of my look. Right, right. 
they were with me because they thought if you saw the bang of fucking guy who was famous. Okay? Right, right. But I have a point here. I'm 54 years old now. And in the last four and a half to five years of my life, I have had wonderful women come into my life. Now, they've all been older women. Chris, they've all been women in their 40s and 50s. Now, okay? let, me, let me just ask you real quick. When you say wonderful women, do you mean good-looking and or just wonderful with good intentions? I, I think, listen, I've never been with a woman who I consider to be ugly. Okay. Okay? I, I'm i really more about a person's heart and soul, Right. number one. Right. But, but, if I showed you some of the women, you would be like, wow, dude, they're... They're attractive women. I mean, they're good-looking women. Right. Now, some of them were younger, and a couple of them were even, like, in their late 50s. Okay. Oh, well, they are now. They're, they're in the mid-50s then. And, and the truth of the matter is, Chris, Sarah is the first relationship I've ever been in in my life where there is such a dramatic age difference. Right, okay? right. But here's my point. I, I'm actually getting to a point. I have discovered as I've gotten older in life that the cards that I was dealt as a young person were not of my choice. They were just the way I was born genetically. Oh, right, it, right, right, me neither, right, right. Right, we can't, listen, all, all we can control is our weight. We, we cannot control our height, right? Right. But we can control the way we dress, we can control Right. You know, the way we talk to people. Right. And, you know, I've learned later in my life that I have a lot more to offer another woman than I ever thought that I did. Okay. You know, I, I'm, I, I know I'm a sensitive guy. I'm a funny guy. I'm very emotional. I'm very real. Um, I'm not very excited. I lead a very boring life. But a lot of women, when they're with me, talk about the same thing. Which is that what? When they're with me, Which is what? they feel like they're in a bubble. What do you mean? They feel like they're put emotionally protected. Like, I am, I am there for them. I, I'm, I'm not their savior. I'm not their daddy or anything like that. But emotionally, they can relax and be themselves when they're around me. Okay. They just feel very comfortable in my presence. Okay. And and listen, I'm not famous anymore, unless you're in your 50s and you happen to remember me in my career. So for these women who find me attractive and want to spend time with me and travel with me and be with me, clearly they're not in it for the glamour or the clout or anything else. Now... I have told Sarah that even though what I have seen of you in your YouTube videos and and your live streams and things like that, which I have watched, right? I I don't think you're a very nice guy. I think you're a dick. <laughs> Thank you. However, <laughs> however, however, lady, she wanted me to come, and and I actually I've read I've read the text, so I know it's not a lie. The lady texted her, I don't think that's a good idea. We don't want to, you know, put Chris on the defensive or make him feel like he's being pressured or anything like that. So maybe it's a good idea not to have Mason, you know, in the studio with you, whatever. Now, my intention, by the way, was not even to meet you that day. Okay. My intention was to sit with her until somebody arrived and then I was going to immediately walk out the door. What do you mean arrived? There was already people in the studio, in the no, building. No, I know. There were, there were two technicians there, but I'm talking about Lady. Waiting for Lady to arrive. What, 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 would, it, what would it matter if she arrived for? Well, because then Sarah would feel comfortable sitting in the waiting room, not by herself. She wasn't by herself, though. There was me, Bill, and about three other people that worked there. No, no, no. But, I'm, I'm, but I'm, no, what I'm saying to you, Chris, is I didn't know you were going to be there as early as you were. So if you had been there... If you guys had already been there, I'm not talking about the two technicians in, in, the, in the studio. I'm talking about you and Bill. If you and Bill had been there when we walked in, 
I would have immediately turned around and left. Oh, okay. I would not have stayed. See, there's one thing you have to understand about me. All of the press that Sarah and I have received over the last year. Right. I didn't want any of it. Yeah, I heard you don't want the spotlight anymore. And that's another reason. I don't want it. Yeah, and that's another I reason I, I heard through the grapevine was that she wants it, you don't, and that their relationship isn't doing well. This was all told to me, and that's why I pursued this. And I told Sarah on the date and just now on Jim Norton that, again, if you weren't aware of this, I apologize, but that's what was told to me. And I told her that's clearly right. not your fault. I says, but the fact right, that you sure. sit here and giggle and admitted, yeah, well, I did kind of lead him on, and I carried her bags for blocks all the way to the fucking cab, and and then you just laugh, and that's the shit that women do that fucking bother me, and it pisses me off, because they sit at your right. table, and I've discussed this, but, but that you've seen my videos of how this has been happening to me for years, yeah. and now here yeah. she fucking does it again. Now, at the very least, I don't know if she's with you right now or not, but... When you no, see her, no, when you when you back, when yeah. you see her, I hope you rip her a new fucking asshole. Because when I left that show, when I called in, I said I ended it with saying, "Sarah, you giggle and think it's funny, and you just admitted to Jim that you did to me what many women did that got me issues towards women, and that women blame me, which makes me sick." Okay, and 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 I basically said, "Sarah, fuck you. You're a fucking bitch," and I hung the phone up. And then I texted her just right. now a bunch of shit. Oh, here's these new girls I'm seeing. They're hotter than you, blah, 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 blah. And then it says, as far as I'm concerned, I says, you owe me $40 for your dinner because you had nothing but manipulative intentions from the get-go. She admitted it. So, you know what? If, if I said anything cruel to you, I because I kind of felt bad because we're in the same boat. But I, but I already said it even to my friends out here on Long Island that you don't even know. I says, he seems like a cool guy. I met him. And, and you know what? I knew you were. So you know what? And I, you know, anything like on the show, I said, oh, you could saw Jim said, how about, how about Reese vs. Morgan, celebrity boxing? And I said in the show, I'll whip his ass. Are you kidding me? But now that I'm talking to you, I want to tell you that, you know what? You're cool. I like you. I think you're a cool guy. But I Thank want you, you I, I, I want you, that. you're welcome. And I want you to do me a favor. When she gets home, I want you to whip her a new fucking asshole. Because, quite frankly, the fact that she thought it was funny, I says, oh, you could spend your t my $12 on a glass of wine, but, oh, I didn't want to hurt him and mislead. You dragged me all the way to the city? This is what I'm talking about. These women have no fucking conscience and think it's fucking funny. So, when I flipped on her, she shut her fucking mouth and didn't say shit. Then I said, bye-bye, guys. And I, and I heard Jim go, oh, he's pissed that I hung the phone up. And rightfully so. I traveled all the way from Long Island, spent money on her, carried her fucking bags, and now she's laughing on the show thinking it's funny that she led me on. What are you fucking kidding me? That's well, what That's I, what pisses me off. Right, again, and I don't have a right to speak for her. But okay, but would you, if you were me, if you were me, would that piss you off? Well, what, what Sarah has said <laughs> to me was that she... She thought that you were doing it for publicity as well. Well, I told her. I told her all this already. I knew it was probably 50-50, but I told her who I heard it from that you were really into me. And that's what she said. Oh, they said that on the date. I said, well, yeah. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't true or I didn't hear it was true. Let's face it. What guy would take a girl out if he knew before they went out she don't like him like that? What guy in their right mind, right, dude, would go all the uh, way, especially... Uh, uh, unless, unless it was purely for publicity reasons. Exactly, right. So, right. again... But you're, but you're telling me now that it wasn't, I, and I understand. Right. I, I'm hearing you. I had, I, I had two people that... Lit and I literally told them on the phone, and I said this on the air. I said, please, don't joke at me. I've had a lot of people fuck with me. It turns out shit wasn't true with my old managers and a lot of other things in life. And the guy on the phone told me... No, Chris, if you've known Bill a while, then you know me. He, I'm just like him. We don't bullshit you. I spoke to Sarah's publicist, and Sarah's publicist told me personally that Sarah told us she really likes you. Those are his words. And so that's why I went out with her. And again, I exonerated her of guilt of that if she didn't know how to say that. But again, I'm going to end it with this because i got to go soon. But uh, okay. again, the fact that she did that and thinks it's funny, and I let her know it pisses me off so if you want to keep in touch be friends i don't want to talk to her 
I'll be more than happy to be friends with you and bullshit. But just promise me one thing. That when you, she gets home, I want you to rip her a new asshole. Because I don't fucking appreciate it at all. And oh, as far I'm, as I'm, I'm concerned, I'm, I'm, and as far as I'm concerned, that goddamn bitch, excuse me for saying, owes me 40 bucks. And I want my 40 bucks back. I don't care who gives it to me, because I've never asked money back from bitches. And if I did, which wasn't that much, I never got a nickel back. See, they're cold-hearted cunts. They don't give a fuck what they do to you and take your money. So do me a favor. I want you to talk to her, and one of you two is going to give me 40 bucks back. I want my 40 bucks back. My, my work is slow, my, my work is slow right now. I'm not doing that great financially. I want my goddamn 40 bucks back. Conce I wouldn't even let it slide. And I have up to this point. Until the fact that she admitted what she didn't giggle with it. And thought it was funny. And when you hear the show, you're going to hear her say, imagine if she did that to you, bro. That would piss you off. Oh, that would absolutely piss me off. Good. So then promise me you're going to ream her a new fucking asshole. Well, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell her that we talked. I'm gonna tell her what we talked about. Right. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell her that when the show comes up on YouTube, that I'm absolutely gonna watch it. Right. Okay. Because number one, I watch everything she does anyway. Okay. Because I want to make sure that I don't get talked about. Right. 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 Exactly. Well, I I, I, I already I, I I already admitted up front that I did talk about you on the show, so that's not a surprise. But again. Now no, that no, I, no, 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 yeah. But, but now that I, now, part of it was publicity, obviously, but now that I'm talking to you and I knew you were a cool guy, I wanted to make sure, I, I, I have no problems with you. I, I like you. You seem cool. But, please. Yeah, and, and, and that's, that's why, you know, I, I got a little offended. I'm like, well, what the fuck have I done? Right. No, I understand that, but part yeah, of it was, I'm part of it was. I'm fucking better at watching TV. What, what have I done to this guy? I, 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 I understand that. Part of it was publicity, and I did feel partially bad, but my, Main focus was to, was on her, and either way, I don't care. I want I want my forty bucks back. I know it's not a whole lot, but it's the pr it's the principle of it. I want forty bucks for what I spent for her on that fucking dinner. I want it, and if I gotta show up on your doorstep to get it, I want it. Period. That's forty bucks. That's gas for a week. I want forty bucks back. So you tell her I said that, and I want to collect it from either one of you. I don't care who it is, because that's not fair to me at all. Well, I, you, you don't think it's fair to collect it from me, do you? I don't care who I get it from. The only reason I'm saying either one of you is because I know she's not going to give it to me. So the only other choice is you should give it to me because this is your girlfriend manipulating me. Yeah, but it was. But, it, but Chris, that, that, that's, that's a very illogical train of thought. Well, I'm sorry to say, sir, but we disagree on that because it's costing my well, money. Why, why should Again. I be responsible for her actions? You you know what? You're right. So that's what you could tell her later. So you're going to give him back for his 40 bucks because you had nothing but deceitful intentions from the get-go. And she admitted it on the show. So therefore, I'm entitled to my 40 bucks back. I want my money back. Okay, and, and there's logic to that train of thought. But how, how do you make a jump from her to me? I'm not her father. Well, you're right. I was just generalizing because you live with her, but that in case she was flat broke, that what I meant was, I guess there's no choice, but I feel... No, the funny thing is, Chris, is she makes more money than I do. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then, that's just it. I, isn't have, no, it? I have no income. I'm retired. Well, isn't that funny? They make this money, but they have no problem spending our money. And I've, I'm, 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 I'm damn good experienced at that for years. But anyway, listen, yeah. uh, listen, let me, let me run. I got to get into a cleaning job. Uh, like okay. I said, if you want, you know, if you want to keep in touch, I'll be more than happy to, you know, be your friend over the phone. You ever need to talk to me? You know, I, I'll be here to, for, you know, to talk to you, give you advice, considering, again, we're in the same vertical challenge boat. Walking like it. Talking like it, looking like it, hey, walking like it, talking like it, looking like it, hey, walking like it, talking like it, looking like it, hey, walking like it, talking like it, looking like it, hey. Walk like talk like money, yeah, drive fast like crash dummy, yeah, came with a pocket full of hundreds, yeah, parked out front left for running.